I kid you not. Um, it, it sort of headlined, will it be something completely different? What will today's joyless woke brigade make of Monty Python? So this follows news that uh, a television station I hadn't heard of before is bringing Monty Python back to TV after 34 years. And so desperate are they to get some woke editorial into every corner of the newspaper at the moment that they end up writing an article accusing the joyless woke brigade of being offended by something they haven't watched yet. This is a masterpiece of woke watch. This is almost why woke watch exists. Listen to this. They wrote this. It's the headline with a straight face. Will it be something completely different? What will today's joyless woke brigade make of Monty Python? Asks Christopher Stevens as the gloriously anarchic comedy that set out to offend returns to our screens after 34 years. I, so we can't find anything that they're offended about today, boss. We've got nothing to use. the. We need to put the word woke. We've bought 100 wokes for the headlines. We've got to use them up. We've got millions of wokes coming out of our ears over at Daily Mail headquarters. But they, there's no one being woke. No one's actually complaining about anything. Well, I thought I read that they're bringing back Monty Python. They might get offended about that. We can't write an article about them maybe possibly getting offended about something they haven't watched yet. <laughs> this is the Daily Mail. I think you find we can. Off you go, Stevens. Give me an article about how the joyless woke brigade are probably going to get really offended by something they've never seen yet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is... Woke Watch. It's 12.16.